I'm going to give you a few practical tips on how to communicate with the voter. The best tactic is to enter into direct contact with the voter. For instance, go to his home or wait for him at the bus stop. But an even better idea is to find the voter's weak spot, for instance, his child, and attack from that angle. Wait at the gates of some supermarket with an empty balloon. Make sure the balloon is definitely empty, not full. This gives you the opportunity to inflate the toddler's balloon while at the same time brainwashing its parents. Note, don't fill in the balloon in seconds. Instead, add a little ear at the time with your machine as slowly as possible while pretending the machine doesn't work. Don't let the child's parents speak at all. While even as recently as the early 1990s, European politicians tried to hold rallies and enter into discussions with the voters. Nowadays, they don't operate as primitively anymore. Entering into debate with the voter is simply a bunch of hot air that leads nowhere. Better to bribe your customer. Give him various advertising products and tokens. For instance, matchboxes, condoms, keychains, pens, candies, reflectors, frisbees, stress balls, free sand for the elderly, lighters, pocket mirrors, flashlights, plastic bags, chocolate bars, ice scrapers, door signs, badges, pocket calendars, coffee mugs, protective hand cream, bottles of water, mini books, office supplies. Once more, Matchboxes, condoms, keychains, pens, candies, reflectors, frisbees, stress balls, free sand for the elderly, lighters, pocket mirrors, flashlights, plastic bags, chocolate bars, ice scrapers, door signs, badges, pocket calendars, coffee marks, protective hand cream, bottles of water, mini books, office supplies. Don't be discouraged by the fact that the voter doesn't need your tokens or your promises. Both are for free. He'll accept them. Yippee!